Welcome to Whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of Whiskey.com. This is my son, Ben. And today we have the big, big honor to taste a Dalmore 21 years old, 43.8 ABV. Yeah, uh, price? Roughly yeah. 700. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's an expensive <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. And uh, because we have those small uh, samples, quite big sample, directly from the distillery, we do not have to open the bottle. Mm -hmm. So, and here's a small latch and uh, a mechanism in it so you can turn it around and have a view at this beautiful, wonderful. Dalmore, 21 years old, and the stag in front of the bottle, that's metal. So if you touch it, it's cool. Oh, yeah. It's sucking the heat out of your fingers. Mm -hmm. Nice bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I had to switch the air condition off and please, please. I open it. <laughs> <laughs> Show it to the customer. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's it's strange. It has a turntable inside. Yeah. <laughs> I do like the the Dalmore distillery. I've just visited on my second last tour, and it's amazing distillery. It has a very good restaurant. The next restaurant just up the road is really really good, and I do love it. It's a farm restaurant, and yeah. Dalmore has uh, cooling jackets on their on their stills and they have the condensers outside and they have a lot of experience. I think they have a they have a beer well, like a, a, a well that supplies the, mm -hmm. the stills and the specialty is it's wooden. Oops. I've never seen that. I've seen a lot of big ones in stainless steel, but I've never seen a wooden one. It's just I've seen a wooden beer well in in the U.S. Ah, in the U.S. Well, I mm -hmm. can't remember any of these, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's amazing and uh, just the the sheer in, in ingenuity of how to work all the stills is is pretty impressive. Uh, I had a look for our new calendar. Uh, I had a look at the. Uh, stills of Dalmore and when I visited the distillery I think it was in 1994 or 1995 uh, they had an old still house where the stills stood so close to each other so it was very very and dark and whoa. I think they renovated it and extended it because the uh -huh. old still house I'm not quite sure because I've seen a still and they've told me they have a still from 18 something and still has the plaque on it. It has some newer parts to it, but there are still some parts from 1800 <laughs> in there. Last handle. <laughs> <laughs> the turn handle is still from 1800. <laughs> nah, I think they, they, the, 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 the bottom is, is impossible to keep uh, yeah. for, for centuries. I think they had probably the second replacement there, but uh, the, the other stuff is can work pretty well. Yeah, um, the Dalmore 21 years is uh, produced from first fill sherry casks, which contained uh, 30 year old Methuselah sherry before. And uh, the 2022nd edition, there are two of them, uh, they had uh, not uh, Matusalem but Gonzalez Bias uh, cast, which is also very very but famous. What do you have the Matusalem so, now? Um, I don't know which is in this one. Probably. I think it, it's exactly the same as as in the big one. Yeah. They sent us the the uh, the ones that are. And then uh, folding cast, which have previously uh, Matusalem. Yeah, we're we're yeah. with the Matusalem. So okay. the other one, the old one, we don't have any samples for mm -hmm. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, this time you changed the height. Yeah. Oh, did I? Well, maybe <laughs> it just dropped a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so this is full, mature chocolate, oranges, coffee, toffee. So this is what you would have expected from a 21 year old cherry cast maturation. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, 
21, I would have said 31, <laughs> 30, 30 year old. It just has a the the chocolatiness and the toffee and the I don't know if it's raisin or something dried fruits is just very very intense for me mm -hmm. it has just a, a strong intensity maybe some caramelized oranges chocolatey so it really has a good of a, a intense christmas character mm -hmm. in it maybe i had just fresh younger whiskeys in the past but this is amazingly good mm -hmm. yeah cheers cheers <laughs> the close up. So there is a very welcoming, friendly, juicy, lightly sweet uh, aroma or feeling in your mouth. Mouth watering acts immediately, and there's this little note of nuttiness of course from the cast marzipan lightly aromatic and the oranges move over to juice oranges yeah wonderful mm. exactly what mm. i expected mm. yeah juicy but also very strong and i have also a very strong chocolate flavor strong it feels a little bit like a mangerie but with uh, much much better quality <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> <close>. <laughs> it's just the, the mangerie with the, the cherry and the chocolate that it's just so i don't know capturing it, it, it just that always has been there for me and so if you have that uh, uh, black forest cake, that's a better, better analogy for that whiskey because that's much, much more in quality. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so mm. in the aftertaste, um, there's a little spiciness in it, but very, very few. It's, it's just giving a little bit more complex. And uh, yeah, if you look at the uh, aroma notes on the back, they say dark, bitter chocolate. No. Uh, over ripe Seville oranges, yes, Colombian coffee, yeah, and toffee apple. The apple, no, it's too fresh. Apple for me is a fresh fruit, no, it's a darker fruit. On the mm. palate, black forest fruits, not cake, fruits. <laughs> fruits, <laughs> <laughs> that's what that is kind of berries, berries, berries yeah, a lot of berries. berries, yeah, mm. uh, roasted walnuts and thick marzipan. Mm. And finishing notes, Yitzeng, Pier Tart, Tatin, what's Tatin? Tatin, Tannins, I know. Mm. And Sanguero, Blood Oranges. Blood Oranges. Yeah, with the Ginzang Blood Oranges, um, I'm with that. With all the, the fruitiness and fresh fruitiness, and that's a bit too fresh for me. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I think it's a bit more darker a bit more heavier a bit more nutty a bit more yeah roast and not roasted uh, mm. dried fruits mm. well, that was amazing really really good yeah i think it's always is that worth 700 euros or dollars but it is amazingly good <laughs> <laughs> so there are just to, to give a few hints uh, there is a million people <laughs> out mm -hmm. there who do not have to look after money at all mm, yeah. in the uh <laughs> how it's called the golden billion of people <clears throat> in the golden billion of people the western world there is a promille uh, which does not have to look after money at all and of those one per mil uh you have uh 0.2 percent 0.3 percent uh, people who like single malt whiskey and they buy and old whiskey you, you <laughs> multiply that and you you get a, a few tens ten thousand people buying that whatever that costs mm, that's so, why it can take 700 for yes that one. <laughs> that's it's, it it's amazingly good but 
you have to really think about is a bottle mm -hmm. worth 700 so euros? we do not open the bottle yeah. uh, we can sell that <laughs> we can sell it yeah <laughs> it's it's worth selling for yeah. 700 that's okay. the question mm -hmm. do you like uh the bucks more than the bottle or the bottle more than the bucks yeah that's so, always a question and, and we are dealers so we like the bucks more than the bottle yeah, because we can <laughs> buy it for less <laughs> not not always because it's, i think these uh this one is also a little bit um hard to get i'm not quite sure if we're already mm. out of stock so this actually mm -hmm. is not quite the issue for us with oh we cannot afford the 700 we could afford the 700 but we actually have little stock of that so we must go back to the customer yeah and we can't disappoint them no. yeah so and we do have tasting flavors so so why yeah. should we open it okay so yeah that was it with the dalmore 21 years it's an amazing bottle if you uh, have the luxury to afford be able to afford that then yeah get it uh, if you don't uh, think about it <laughs> yeah that was it thank you very much for watching and see you next time